Until now, we've been looking at blocks that allow you to insert specific kinds of content into your poster page. Now it's time to look at the column block. This is a different kind of block. You'll find this under the layout group. The column block allows you to create columns within your page, and then you can add other blocks inside of those columns, allowing you to build more complex and sophisticated layouts. Let's jump into WordPress and take a look. So I'm in a WordPress post and I've got some text in here and it's all in a single column and that's fine because I can mix single column text with multi-column layout uh, and it's really easy with Gutenberg columns. Let's take a look. So I can hover over any one of these blocks and append my layout by adding a column block anywhere on the page. And when I add the column block, it offers a number of pre-built layouts. Uh, these are common types of column layouts that give you a head start. Now you could skip this and create your own column, any kind of column structure you want, but it's really just easiest to select one of these pre-built. I'm gonna go with three equal contents. I'm going to replicate a design pattern that we see uh, has become quite popular on the web. It's uh, three images uh, with headlines over them. So I selected the three column layout and WordPress has built these three equally sized columns and these uh, plus buttons in the middle, that's a block appender. And what that means is anywhere I see that, I can add a block and I can add any kind of block I want within any of these columns. So I have already got my three column layout achieved and now it's up to me to go pick the blocks that I wanna use to make this layout work the way I want it to work. Now, some things I wanna point out here with the column block. Uh, off to the right in block settings, you've got a column selector where you can specify the number of columns you want. Now, I chose three equal columns. I could easily make this four equal columns by dragging this up. And you'll see that WordPress ex extends my column structure by one and I can go, I can keep going up. These blocks would get very tight uh, there's not much you can do with, with columns that are that narrow on a page. I'm going to dial this back to three. Uh, you could also go back to two if you wanted to. Now I can go select each of these individual columns and I can fine tune the width of each of these columns as well. You have a percentage width in the block settings where you can set a percentage specifically if you have a specific layout that you want to achieve. So you can tweak and fine tune the column layouts uh, just the way you want or just the way you need to to achieve the kind of design objective that you're trying to achieve. But I'm going with these three uh, equally sized. The only thing I don't like about this is uh, they're narrowly constrained. And I'd like uh, this block to be a little bit wider because I'm going to add some images and some headlines. I know that I'm going to need more space. So the way to do that is to select the outer selector on the column block. And then when you see the column toolbar floating over the column group, uh, you have an option to select a wider width. You could do wide width or full width. Full width goes from edge to edge on the page. Uh, your theme will have to support a full width block layout. Uh, not all themes support that. Uh, I'm just gonna go with wide because I know that wide is appropriate for my needs here. So now it's really just a matter of going into each one of these blocks, clicking the block appender and selecting the kind of block that I wanna add to the column. And I'm gonna go ahead and add headers across all three of these. So I've added a headline to uh, each one of these columns. And when I click into the block, uh, I get all of the same controls I would expect to see because this is just a normal headline block. It just happens to be positioned inside of a column. And so I'm gonna go ahead and center all of these because I want the headline to be centered over an image. Now I'm gonna go through and add an image to each one of these columns. I'm going to center each one of these images as well. And so now I've got this three column layout with uh, headlines floating over images. 
and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, this would have been very difficult to do in the old days of WordPress. Let's go ahead and preview this on the page. And there are my images. They're all looking pretty good, except for that last image didn't get centered properly. I'll have to go in and fix that. Uh, and so that's a quick example of how to use columns in Gutenberg. Uh, you can mix and match different layouts of columns. Uh, you can mix and match column and non-column layouts. Uh, you can get a lot of really interesting effects when you go wide, as I have done here. Uh, there are all kinds of interesting things you can do with columns. I encourage you to experiment. It's a great way to combine different kinds of Gutenberg blocks together. You can get some really interesting and sophisticated design effects.